Hi, welcome back to the third episode of our teen podcast. Um, my name is Naomi and this is Joy and we'll be co-hosting for tonight. On the panel we've got Marvelous Temidara, we have Gifty and Zara and we also have our amazing, amazing audience. Um, so today's question I guess yeah is is vaping the new epidemic and I think Joy will give us what epidemic means yeah. An epidemic is a widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at a particular time, e.g. a flu epidemic. Chest, heart and stroke campaign gave research to show us that 21% of 11 to 16 year olds have used an e-cigarette at least once. E-cigarettes usage is rising in teenagers. Year 12 is currently using e-cigarettes increased from 10% in 2016 to 24% in 2022. 30% of people aged 18 are using some form of e-cigarettes or vape. Over the, year, over the years 2021 to 2022, the usage of disposable vapes has risen from 0.87% to 56.7%. That's gone up by 50% within a year. So our question is, what are your views on vaping and do you believe it's becoming epidemic? What are your thoughts, Marvelous? Yeah, I think it's becoming an epidemic because it's becoming like used in everyone's like not everyone but like most of everyone's like anywhere you go, like you're on the street, there's kids, adults, old people just using it. Yeah. Yeah, I believe it's getting normalized. Um especially when you go to like shops like like everywhere, like even like random like sometimes like just random shops and no man's be selling vapes, they sell them. So I think. What do you want, Gifty? I think vapes are everywhere because, like, you see them, like, you see people using them in schools, outside, or, like, whenever I go online, I also see people, like, stacking vapes, like, on their windowsill in color order, and they're just getting normalized. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really feel like vapes are also getting normalized everywhere. I see that like everybody has them, older people, children, even if like, I'm, I remember like I'm even sitting in McDonald's and there's security guards walking across smoking and vaping, but they're telling other people not to. It just doesn't make sense. Like you're telling one person one thing, but you're also doing the same thing. It's just normalized at this point. It's crazy. Um... So I guess, why do you think vaping has become such a big problem for children age? Because I know it's like, it's definitely popular, but do you have any reasons why? Um, I think it's because of peer pressure, especially, I feel like vaping is very popular in like teenage age right now, because in the sense of peer pressure, I feel like loads of people feel like, oh, because my friend is doing it, I want to like try, I want to just see, like, it's not going to like harm me, but they don't realize like how much like is in the stuff they are actually like taking. They think it's just like flavor there, but because of like their friends doing it, like what, what, what would they do to them? Yeah, um, I feel like it comes down to influence and so something like Tammy said, like I feel like at the end of the day, you are your own person and you have your own choices and if you want to do it, you can. But a lot of the time I feel like it's by influence, like you see your friend smoking it and there's obviously there's different flavors. So obviously you're going to feel like, oh, I want to try that. that might taste nice and oh it's only a one-time thing but then the more the more your friends have or the more the more you see people have you're going to be like oh I tasted that before it's a different flavor I want to taste it again and then it, it gets worse and it gets worse and it gets worse until you start even buying your own and that's when the problem actually starts yeah Jeff? I think it's a problem as well because the way it's being advertised you see different flavors you see different colors it makes it look attractive to like people making it look like a good thing yeah. to people when it's actually now yeah i think like for example i saw like like a fidget spinner one or like there's like a lollipop one like it's just like the way it's like advertised now it's like kids will want to buy this kind of things because they're like oh it looks so cool which is like re without like realizing like like how harmful it is for them marketing is definitely marketing and then the way they display the products because i remember after we were talking after we were talking and discussing like questions for this I remember going into the shop and I was looking I was buying I was paying for something and I looked at where they keep all the vapes and tobacco and tobacco is like it's black and then they, obviously they've got the little 
like warning thing of like someone's lungs or something but it's all black and it's kind of covered but then the vapes is just open mm -hmm. and you've got like this lovely rainbow of like pink purple green and it just looks nice like it's something a kid would go get from like a candy store or something and i think that's really it's it's just big i also feel um i don't want to that i think with the marketing side, I think they're like the vape sellers, they're smart in the sense of putting it in front of where you're paying because then you like see it and you're like, mm, maybe I should get that and try because it looks like attractive. So, yeah, if you want someone, yeah, yeah, they should move it to the back of yeah, shop. if they move it to like, yeah, it yeah. might like people like over like you know, how like in like in shopping centers, they have like sweets like at the side because they know people be like, oh, let me just get that because it's like, at the, yeah, yeah, but at the same time, if you move it from where they are, like people would like people like shoplifting it, yeah, so it has to be somewhere, somewhere where like. Someone can see, it, like, yeah. yeah. And you know, at Tesco's, like the big Tesco's, will they have what is it like? Oh, yeah, they have like service, a separate they'll have it at the yeah. side. They should do something like yeah. that, yeah. Or they should be like, oh, I yeah. know how, like, yeah. with like cigarettes and stuff, they like put it behind, like, maybe like slided doors or something. They can do the same thing with vapes so that it's not all in your face, like, for like really prompting you and stuff. It's definitely eye catching for sure. It is okay, so. Evidence shown by the NHS that vaping is substantially less harmful than smoking. Vaping exposes users to far fewer toxins and at a lower level than smoking cigarettes. There's a debate on whether vaping is truly better than smoking tobacco. What's everyone's belief on this? It has leaned a lot of people off from smoking tobacco. I do feel like it has, but at the same time, it's not 100% proven what actually goes into vapes. No one really knows every single detail and every single, single ingredient that goes into it the way they would know with tobacco. Do you know what I mean? So I do feel like it has leaned people off a lot, but it, it still doesn't take away the fact that they're still smoking and chemicals are still going into their body that aren't good for them. Yeah, like I remember I researched on, and it was saying like in vapes, they're like, like substance like that that are used in like nail polish remover and I was like it's so crazy like nail polish remover like the smell itself is like very like toxic and it's like it's like you don't like you think it's like fluid air but it's like the things that actually in those fluid air like you actually have to be so careful and like was like the the pest like, yeah, spray. spray like yeah like, I know just, that like if I'm like killing a bug or something if, if i like, use bug spray i can't yeah. i just have to leave the room because yeah. i'm actually feeling sick yeah and the fact that people are okay vaping that just like yeah. because of stunning because of the way like it's like it's like the flavor makes it like it covers it, it covers i think it like, yeah, definitely because yeah. it was just blanched no one's gonna know anything just that. yeah um i think bouncing off of what zara said about not knowing everything that's in it when i was in primary school everyone like in p7 i think everyone gets the talk about don't smoke and i don't think vaping was introduced or not vaping but e-cigarettes were introduced sometime around the early 2000s so they would have told us everything that's in um, cigarettes like rat poison and all that but when it came to like e-cigarettes it was kind of just like we don't really know much about it but like do what you want and i feel like yeah. that's <laughs> that's not it's not the best approach and then also with people using vaping to get off smoking cigarettes. Um, it's like replacing one addiction with another harmful addiction because you don't know what's in it. And then those people who pick it up, do they ever eventually quit vaping the nick or do they, yeah, the yeah. tobacco, the Yeah, vape, I was reading anything? something like that where like someone was vaping to get off addiction of smoking but ended up addicted to vaping and smoking at the same time. Like. That's, it just makes yeah, it even worse. I've even, it's 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 I've even heard that one vape is equivalent to twenty cigarettes. Yeah. I'm but thinking to so myself, yeah, like, I'm thinking to myself, you're you're even smoking a vape, and you think that it's better for you, but in fact, it could potentially be even worse. It's like what I'm like what you're saying, Naomi. No one really knows what is in those vapes. Like, it's not a hundred percent proven the way it's proven for tobacco. So people are smoking these things just assuming that from what people are telling them that it's better for them but we don't even know if it is and also i feel like um nicotine the nicotine in like vapes they're they're more addictive so like you like getting off like tobacco you like the nicotine you're so, like you're subsiding with it with it's like like you get more addicted to the substance yeah. you're having i think you know someone who was on the vape what was that um yeah there was like this 12 year old girl and like 
she got hold of vapes and she was vaping, but she also had asthma. So next thing she knew, like she couldn't breathe anymore and she was in the hospital and they took a scan and the doctors looked at it and they were all shocked because one of her lungs was completely black and and then she just started texting like her friends and family um just because she didn't know if she was going to see them again and um like i don't know and then um she just she just said that um, she didn't even know, like she didn't want to die alone. And and that shows that the effects that it brings to people, especially if you have like a sickness like asthma, that's already hard enough to have. Then adding vaping onto it, I don't think that that was a good thing to do. Is she okay now? Yeah, I think so. Okay, <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. I know, like, even people, there are people I know of that they kind of just take vapes from people who they maybe know of, maybe not know so well. And they have to be careful because I know there was someone who took a vape from someone and they didn't know what was in it. And it was like maybe like three or four times what it actually was. Mm -hmm. And they like actually wasn't, weren't okay. Like they couldn't, they could barely walk and stuff. I think like also people just definitely have to be careful. Like they don't really know what's inside it and stuff so definitely yeah. be yeah, yeah. conscious and in the in the when we're talking about peer pressure like in the like there's some so in some instances you can like increase like how much of like the like how much of the vape you want to get and it can be like you've my your, your friend can have like a high percentage of like of the vape that comes out is that what's it called it's like i think it's like a that's a different one. I think it's like an electronical. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, like like said, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think it's different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, your friend can, oh, your friend can be okay with like the high percentage of like of the nicotine in the e cig, uh, in the e cig, and then you might take, you might try it, and then like it can have a bad effect on you. So you just have to be like really careful and just like stand your ground if your friends are, um, vaping around you and you just feel like you have to, you don't have to. So the current law in Northern Ireland when it comes to selling to children under age is that a person will get a fixed penalty of 250 pounds or a maximum of 500, 5,000 if prosecuted or convinced, prosecuted and convinced in court, convicted in court. Do you think there should be harsher laws? Or less harsher laws? I think there should be harsh. Oh. If you think there should be less harsher because the problem stems well, you know, I think, how do they access the vape, the children? They'll go buy in stores, and some people will sell them to children underage. I know someone, or I've heard that there's a place where you can go, you go, you go in and give them cash, and then the man will give you a vape. He doesn't check ID or anything, even if you look underage, he'll give you whatever, and then he tells you just make sure you open it outside. Mm -hmm. I feel like knowing what you're doing, or as a person, you know that's wrong, but they're still out there and they're still doing that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if there were harsher laws, maybe they wouldn't. Because a fine is like, fine's not that big a deal, I don't think. Like two, 250. I feel like, oh, <laughs> okay. I feel like um, if you make more stricter laws, it's not really going to change. I, I, personally, I feel like it's not really going to make that much of a difference because they're going to find a way to get it either way. Like see when you're addicted to something, like for example, like, obviously, nicotine is like a drug. Like, if you're addicted to something, you're going to find every single way that you can get that thing. So it's either, it can either be coming from irresponsible parents, their parents ban it, they, ban it. they can be getting even drug, druggies on the street to come and buy them in shops, people over 18 getting their friends who are older to go and get them it. They're going to find a way to get that if they're addicted. So even if they do put down, har har like, you know, harsher like laws for this type of thing, it, I, it's really not going to make much of a difference in my opinion anyway. I think so. I think like, I think we're stuck and I feel like it's going to get worse. Like I feel like uh, generations coming. It's like the new cigarette thing. It is, yeah. Because yeah. I've seen conspiracies and things like that where the man who made tobacco or I think they, someone was saying they got in partnership with the Jewel, I think originally it was. Mm -hmm. They became a partnership. I don't I don't know like hard, I don't know hard facts and figures, mm -hmm. but there's like conspiracies or things where people are saying because people are running away from tobacco, because everyone knows smoking cigarettes are bad now, like everybody knows that. 
um, they've come up with this new, like, fun, funky thing that everyone wants to do. So they're trying to use that to bring in more money because, you know, cigarettes are expensive. They're like, what, 40, 30 pounds? And also, if, and also if you're saying, like, the government, if you say, like, for example, if you see the government should, like, cut off on, like, like vapes, they shouldn't sell vapes. Um, also, I feel like vapes, like, vapes, like, people selling vapes are also the way of government making money. Yeah, cause because they they're, like, selling soap. Like, people are, like, the amount of people buying vapes is, like, insane. Do you know what I mean? Vaping contributes 40 million yeah. pounds annually while smoking, well, 2022 and 2023 it was 10 billion that smoking or tobacco generated into tax yeah yeah and i was reading something that like the vaping factory or like vaping in itself mm. contributes up to like eighteen thousand jobs so like cutting like those vapes big. yeah it's gonna like make people lose their like, jobs yeah. real so how do you think that like the government can actually control this like issue do you think there is a way or do you think there isn't the prime minister he tried to i think he did ban yeah, there was something going around where he wanted to ban the lost marriage or something like that mm -hmm. i don't think that's very i don't think that's right mm -hmm. i don't think we should be banning anything like in rv or in gcc we learned that banning things like abortion um it just means that people will go get backstreet yeah. abortions and those are more dangerous than going to a doctor people can die from that so i feel like if we start making vapes um, illegal, then the children who are buying it, if they're getting it off some dodgy man, they don't know what's in it. He probably doesn't know what's in it. He probably got it from somewhere else where they're not regulating things like that. So if they're ingesting that, that could be more detrimental to the ones they're already having out in the shops. So I don't think banning or making anything illegal would be the way, but. I see, I think also additionally, like you know how a cigarette, and like only get a cigarette, like there's like pictures of like how it can damage you. I feel like yeah, they should start doing that for vapes, even should. though it doesn't, it does, I think it surely it does help some people because when they see that, they'll be like, mm, I don't think, but I don't want I want, I don't want that for myself because it's like they don't want damage. But at the same time, people still smoke, even though they still see the negative picture at the, on the box. Yeah, and I also think that the way it's marketed, like stop making different flavors. Mm. Like, yeah, the different flavors are not necessary. Yeah. Like, like blue eyes. Yeah, the different flavors are yeah. strawberry. Like, I feel like, like have one singular flavor and yeah. let everyone just be buying that because. Well, I, I do feel like, I feel like the, in my opinion, I do feel like the government has done a lot. They've put age restrictions on certain products that younger people under the age of 18 or even 21 that can't be banned. What else can they really do? They've, you know, it's like if you ban, like Naomi was saying, if you ban something you know, people are going to still, like I said, people are still going to find a way to get that. And if they ban it, it's going to become illegal. And then that means that they're going to be smuggling t tobacco and e-cigs and nicotine and all these type of things, which is going to cause even more problems. So that's why I, ju I just feel like that that's not the best idea. And like Tammy, Tammy was saying as well, you know, s like s smoking cigarettes tastes Ho like it smells horrible like i'm standing at the bus stop and people are smoking near me i'm it's moving awesome. to the other side of the yeah, bus stop really i'm thinking really nice. this smell is horrible it's actually disgusting you know with vapes people are st i'm standing beside people and it smells nice like that would attract someone yeah. into buying it i just feel like both of the the two things the two smoking devices are very different and they're portrayed in different ways it's like one is not attractive and one is do you know yeah. what i mean i feel like a way that it can they can also like limit the usage of it is like i know smoking is illegal to advertise on like billboards and stuff i think they should actually put a lot oh. it's illegal because of how harsh it no have you seen that big sign i've seen this big sign. yeah there's a big sign it's like advertising the colors the i think they should do it with the last may it advertise everywhere i think it's they so should nice. put a law against that so that it's also not yeah, I think um, what they should do also, like for the vaping, is that people are like still gonna get it either way. If you if you ban it or if you like <laughs> hire the age restriction, but I, what I think they should do is that they should make people pay more for it. So like, so like m it's that, lesser yeah. likely for them to get it if they don't have enough money to buy it, especially for teenagers as well, because it's like. If you go into a shop, like how much is a loss, Marie? Like that's crazy. That's crazy.
I'm in Poland. I'm in Poland. Literally, you're in Poland. You're seeing like this, like <laughs> this is sketchy. Yeah, <laughs> this is sketchy. That's yeah, so like cute. this, and it's like three pounds. Like it's like kids are gonna get that because they have the money to get I'm that. I'm thinking to myself, this is the money your parents be giving you. Like you are pissing down hips. Like I like, yeah. yeah. But then also, some people can say like the nicot. So in vapes, you can get like two percent nicotine. And they can say, oh yes, it's like less damage. Obviously, like if you keep if it keeps building up, it's like the, the amount. It's not really less anymore. It's like I think we've got a question from one of the audience members. Um, thank you. All. Um, really enjoyed your discussion, and I think you've made some really strong points. Um, just to the question around whether there's more that can be done. Um, and I know that Zara, you'd felt that maybe there isn't much more that can be done. But I think what's interesting to note is that among young people now. Smoking, in terms of the numbers that actually smoke cigarettes, is much lower than the number that vape. And over the years, you mentioned a few things like, you know, the, the packaging makes it clear that smoking is bad for your health. It's hidden away, all that sort of stuff. And, and I think there must be a link between the way that's, that cigarettes are now dealt with and put out of sight mm -hmm. um, and the dangers of it really made very visible. There must be a link between that and the drop in appeal that we see between, you know, in younger people um, actually taking up cigarette smoking. So I guess my thought um, in putting it out there is that, it, it, you know, some of the things that you've said about the way that they've blocked out cigarettes, don't we think that maybe vaping over time, over time, will also start to lose its appeal if things like those measures like that are put in place where it's put out of sight Flavors are, you know, it's not appealing. Um, the warnings and the graphic images are there. So, so question whether the government really has done enough, um, or whether they can deal with those issues as well, and and whether we will then start to see a gradual decline in vaping in young people in the way that we have seen a decline in in cigarette smoking. I think. Thank you. Vaping, that was a I good feel point. like. I, I I do agree with what you're saying, but I feel like you know how like. Like five years, ten years ago, like we wouldn't think like disposable vape would be like so popular. I feel like they're going, there's going to be another thing out, like in the world, like because there's like we never just know because it's like they need to, they need different things for different to make it money. Yeah, because yeah. like, it's, it's very which is kind of dangerous. Generation, it's, it's kind of scary to think about it because what else would they bring out that was like next one? You know what I mean? Like I do agree with what you're saying, but I feel like as well. Well, maybe not for people who have never smoked before, but. You know, it's going to take a while for the government to put those procedures in place. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like those people, do, the, the millions of people already, yeah. they're already vaping. And if they go and put those procedures on and put the photograph and put the less flavors, people are still going to know what it tastes like before. They're still going to know what type of effect and feeling it gives them before. So they're still going to do it. No matter what procedures is going to be put on vaping, you know, so, I, you know, I agree, but... I think they could do more if they do what they're doing for cigarettes now, you know, putting the thing on it and then making it one flavor. Because I think the thing that's really, really attracting people is the color and the flavors. And then also your friends are doing, but peer pressure is peer pressure. That's not going to change. But if they change the way they're marketing and the way they're putting it out there, you know, reducing the billboards and then the one flavor thing, I think it could come down. But yeah. there'll think, definitely be another thing after it. Thing. I yeah. think if if there was no flavor, no, no one would be touching it. Vape. Because nobody smokes, no one my age smokes a cigarette because it's awful. The smell, you don't want to be around. Marvelous, I think you had something to say. Yeah. Also, I'm thinking like, I think the government have done like sort of enough, but like not enough because it's down to like the people like actually enforcing the law. Like if you go to a bus station, you see people like smoking, vaping, I know. When there's like bus station staff just walking by looking at you, they themselves are even smoking and yes. vaping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <it's true>. so, <laughs> like, I'm like thinking if there's like meant to be fine or anything, and even the staff themselves is like vaping, yeah. it doesn't make sense. How are you meant to stop someone? People don't care anymore. Yeah, That's people don't care thing. anymore. Like, they don't care. If those laws are being enforced, yeah, I think there'll be like a big drop. Yeah. Sometimes teachers I know that children are vaping and they at don't school. They yeah. don't do anything yeah, about definitely. it. People don't care. I really feel like there should be like someone like standing on their back or something because they're moving like nothing's gonna happen and something should happen. Like being fined was it twelve thousand or something? Okay. Yeah, five thousand. That's not a lot. Yeah. That's not a lot of money, I don't feel like. Like, it's a lot, but it's not like a lot. It is a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Like, I feel like it wouldn't push me to do anything. And also, no one's coming around to check. Yeah, I think, I know in my school, they have, 
like smoke alarms in the bathrooms, but like I think the smoke alarms don't detect vaping like products and stuff. It I feel like they should add like vape detectors as well, so that they can actually try and like, make an effort. Okay. I I generally feel like the people that vape they can't really like I feel like the people that vape they know what the vape is doing to them, but like they're so addicted they can't stop. Like I genuinely like I don't know how like someone will actually try and stop like I think I know there are like helplines and stuff and people that you can talk to that they can actually help you ease off and off vaping. Like the patches? Well. No, yeah, and I'm just like smoking. Oh, yeah. for smoking yeah. nicotine patches. Who's gonna call a helpline though? I wouldn't call a helpline. Yeah, but I wouldn't call a helpline. Anonymously. I even I even have so I even have a couple of friends like and I'm seeing that they're putting pouches under their lips. I'm thinking, what is that? What are you putting? And they're telling me that it's something to help them stop addiction from nicotine. I'm like, that's how serious it's got. Like that's how serious like it, it genuinely has. Like people from the age of eleven yeah. to like smoking vapes because it looks like like highlighter or something, and it's <laughs> like and you're enjoying it to you. I'm thinking. It's th this surely is not good, and yeah. it's just gonna get worse. And I feel like that's what we need to accept. It's just gonna get worse. Yeah. Anyway, that I think that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've been impacted by the issues raised in this episode, please do speak to a trusted adult. More information and help is also available from the organisations listed here. <laughs>